Those videos are out there. Somebody huh. downloaded them all. Those videos are all out there. And there's no way I can get them back. Once they got so them, those, they got Those them. are the new video posted yesterday. Is it part four? <laughs> they, she had 14 videos. 14 of them. Okay. So, <laughs> I'm surprised when they come out myself. You told me to pull down all the videos that had anything to do with the Metro Mall. Boom, gone. 14 videos. Do you know who who uploaded the video every day? No. You don't know who? who no, who because are? the person I talked to, they pulled them. They pulled them, but they were open and they were public. And apparently people know how to download the videos. So what World Star Hip Hop is doing is what World Star Hip Hop is doing. They're out there. And there's, there's nothing you can do to get them back. I have no idea what's going to pop up next. So do you think if we take a legal action to find out who, who they are, you know, check the IP address, do you, do you have any idea who might? Because if it's, it's come up with the legal issues regarding that uh, video, I mean, we need to be protected and we need to be prepared. The, le the, the legal issues are simply this. We have the right to video record. You've got to sign on your 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 door that says mm -hmm. that you're vi video recording. It's in a public space. They have no recourse. If now, another it, another thing I'm concerned is they called you or they whoever the uh, replied the comments after the video, and then they are considering you as a security guy, not a more manager. Yeah, I know, and 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 I've corrected that on several occasions, but you know they can think what they think. I mean, uh. uh uh, there's a guy running a campaign. They call me kick-ass mall cop. You know, I did an interview uh, in the UK yesterday. Mm -hmm. I told him, you know, I'm not security. I, you know, I manage the property. Mm -hmm. uh, I got an email this morning yeah. or a text this morning. We were on the news in the UK. So if this interview for CNN goes through, do you want to be on it? Do you want to be there? I need to see the, uh, the interview first before they uh, put on the CNN. Oh, if we go down and interview, the whole, the whole, none of it. The only thing they'll talk about is, is, is me tasering somebody, yeah. and then the whole conversation shifts, not to the Metro Mall, but to downtown Atlanta. Now, uh, the mayor's got some kind of committee or task force, you know, that's supposed to look into what goes on in downtown Atlanta mm -hmm. and the revitalization. And there's somebody else who's more uh, politically aware is telling me, well, they got this, and we got this, and we got that, and they got this, you know. So actually, we're kind of winning. I don't know if the interview with CNN will go off because we don't. there's nothing confirmed. The guy just told me CNN wants to interview you. There's a, 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 a somebody on on satellite radio that wants to interview you about this and every time I talk to anybody about this the whole thing I'm I'm not staring it toward the Metro Mall I'm not staring it as I'm the super cop of the world you know I'm staring it toward this is this is a city of Atlanta problem and like your brother told me I've gone to four or five of these meetings over here at the underground and all you got was lip service because you would come out here on the block and nothing's changed right we're about to put so much pressure on the city right. that they're really going to have to do something. Now, there's people coming into that mall, I swear to God, just to see me. <laughs> I swear to God, just to see me. And there, there's nothing. And then I have to look at the Fox 5 interview. But when I told him, like I said, I got Francis. You know Francis is. I got him to interview Francis. I pulled Francis from what she was doing to come over and talk to this guy and basically say, uh, I'm, I'm, you know, because I feel safer in this place right here because of him right there, I'm willing to open up another business in this place right here. That's the kind of publicity that you want. You want people to come down here, feel safe, and other businesses to invest, and that's all we're trying to do here. I'm not trying to really promote myself. Really, what I'm trying to do is get the city to solve the problem. 
And then when the city solves the problem, guess what? Because somebody wants to do a reality show. And I'm like, no. I said, if we get the 10 cops that we want down here in this area, guess what? All this stuff goes away. There is no reality show. All this video is months old. And I keep stressing that on World Star because I spend half the night answering people. <laughs> right? I, I answer as one. Well, if, if somebody filed a lawsuit against you and our company, and then do you think that we can, we are able to find a guy who, to you and uh, us, to back out of the uh, liability? Oh, but for posting on it? Yeah. I mean, we. I, I, I don't know how to do that. But the first thing I would do is once they filed the case, you're going to look at the case that they gave you, you're going to you're gonna look at their argument. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to file a motion to suppress. I mean, a motion to dismiss. Like, for what I told you, it's a public space. They have no merits. 